What's up? So I realized that some of you do not know how to use the widget crop tool. And in fact, I didn't even know how to use the widget crop tool. Shout out to the developer of the app for reaching out to me in the comments. Yeah, that was really great. I had no idea that widget actually involves one of these crop tools themselves. So this is just going to be a super quick video on how to get a transparent widget only using widget. <laughs> Now, if we look at my home screen, we could see I have a transparent widget here and we click here and we could see that it has a background of that transparent widget. What I didn't know before though, is that all we have to do is just go home, hold on the home screen to go into jiggle mode and we go to the very last page, we screenshot the very last page, hit done and then go back to the widget app. And once we're in the widget app, we can hit create a widget. Now we go whatever widget size we want, so maybe medium size. So we go to medium size, then we hit add a layer, add image. And once we add the image, we want to size it up. So I take my two fingers and I kind of just zoom in on it and it scrolls it to size it up. And now we just go image, image library, and then we click the image of our home screen. And now all we have to do is click this crop tool button and we hit continue, we click the crop tool we want, and now we select to where we want that to be. So let's say I just want it on the top here, we hit tap to select, then it'll actually automatically crop it for me. So a lot of people were asking me, hey, where do you find that blank space scriptable? Well, we don't need the blank space scriptable anymore because this does everything for us. Now we go back to frame and we kind of just add wherever we want to on top of it. So for this, I'm just gonna add maybe a sized up weather. So we just go to API, Oh no, nah, let's just let's just do some board API. So we hit color, change it to black so we can actually see it on the background. Change this text, shut it off that, update. I'm probably going by a little fast here. We go to the top just to show this off. We hit done. And then we're gonna wanna bring this to the middle. And if this is one of the first times for you to, <laughs> if you're using Widget for the first time right now, or if you just looked up this tutorial because you wanted to know how and you're less experienced. Um, a good better way to put that. If you're more experienced, you can leave this. If you're more experienced, you can leave this tutorial now, but also remember to drop a like button. I try to make it as quick as possible. But if you're less experienced, I'm gonna show you how to set this on your home screen starting in three, two, one. So we're just gonna want to click back, hit confirm, then go to the manage tab on the very bottom. Now after manage, we go medium, and we hit new and then we just put that new there now we go home and we're going to want to add the widget so we hold on our home screen hit add then go to widget click widget go all the way to the medium three or whichever number you set it as so we set it as medium three you click medium three and just set that as your home screen widget and there we go we have it on uh, a transparent background such as this one uh, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to drop a like. Remember to subscribe, try to make it quick. Hopefully you stay till the end. And anyway, see you.